In this video, we look at what we refer to as an uh, X center of a triangle or an X circle. And an X circle meaning exterior to the circle um, in comparison to the in center or the in circle of a triangle. The in circle or the in center of a triangle um, is the inscribed circle. Um, and if you remember, when you did, um, when we do inscribed circles, we look at angle bisectors. And it turns out, so if we draw in an angle bisector, the inscribed circle, um, the center is on that angle bisector. Well, with X centers, turns out they are also on the inscribed um, on angle bisectors, and that's because they use that same theorem. And if you remember, the theorem that we use that's so important is that the an angle bisector is equidistant from the sides of a triangle or sides of an angle. So that means that if I were to draw this right, it doesn't look great, but those two lengths would, is, are going to be the same everywhere along that angle bisector. Well, for the X center, it's not the angle bisectors of the three angles. Instead, it's the angle bisector of one of the angles, B, and then two exterior angles. And so the exterior angles are going to be this one, and then this one. And it's easy to show that those three are going to be concurrent. And the way that you would show them is by really actually starting by looking at two of them. It makes it a little bit easier. We've already shown that our first line, we'll call this one line A, or let's call it line B since it's the um, uh, angle bisector of angle B. And so line B is equidistant from the sides. And so at this point right here, we know that distance is the same as that distance. Well, this angle bisector, the exterior angle bisector of angle A, which we'll call line A, is also equidistant from two, two things. And the two things it's equidistant from are, well, this side right here, side AB, but then also the other side of its angle, which turns out to be um, side AC, right? The angle, the angle bisector we just drew is from side AB and side AC. Then if we draw in the third angle bisector, which goes through C, we can see that, well, it's um, equidistant from BC and it's equidistant from um, AC. So now we've got all, three points all equidistant from two lines, but those overlap with each other, which means they're all going to be where they intersect each other. They're all equidistant. Um, the same distance away from those three lines, AB, AC, and BC, respectively. It also shows that that distance is the radius, and those points where they hit are where the circle hits it. Now, I drew a very poor circle, but that is your X center, um, and um, it does exist, and it exists because of that angle bisector theorem. Um, hopefully, you could draw a little bit better circle than I just did. Um, but it also, it's very important to understand that X centers, N centers um, are existent because of the angle bisector theorem, which is um, every point on an angle bisector is equidistant from a side.